Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if your recycling bin icon does not automatically refresh on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So when you're attempting to clear it out or empty it automatically, it doesn't switch to the correct icon to indicate whether your recycling bin is either full or empty. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do is open up the search menu. Type in desktop icon settings. Best match. Should come back with themes and related settings. Go ahead and left click on that. Now on the right side, you want to scroll down underneath related settings and select desktop icon settings. So select recycle bin and then in parentheses it says full. Select restore default and then do the same thing for the recycle bin and in parentheses empty. Select restore default for that as well. And then select apply and OK. And then hopefully that has been able to resolve the issue pretty quickly at this point. Now if you're still having an issue, something else we can try here as well would be to rebuild our icon cache. So in order to do that, we're going to open up the search menu. Type in folder options, best match, should come back with file explorer options. Go ahead and left click on that. Now you want to select the view tab and underneath hidden files and folders, select show hidden files, folders and drives and then select apply and OK. And now you want to open up file explorer, either select the little folder icon down your taskbar or you can search for it in the search menu. And you want to select this PC on the left panel. Double click on your local drive where Windows is installed. It should be indicated by a little Windows icon above a hard drive icon. Double click on that. And you want to do the same thing now for the users folder. So double click on that. Double click on your username. And then once you've done that, double click on the app data folder. And there should be a local folder in here. Double click on that. Now there should be an icon cache file in here. Either right click and then select the little trash can icon to delete it or select the delete key on your keyboard. Once you have done that, go ahead and close out of here and you will need to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. Do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.